Hi there, I'm Jill Webb and I'm just going to spend a few minutes outlining a little about resilience to you. Resilience comes up in a lot of different training, safeguarding, equality and diversity, so it's something that's worth just spending a little bit of time thinking about. The dictionary defines resilience as the capacity to withstand or recover from difficulties or toughness. I'll just say that again, the capacity to withstand or recover from difficulties or toughness. We've already mentioned that resilience is important in safeguarding, in equality and diversity, but actually for all of us, resilience is important in life. We all have things that knock us and it's important that we can be resilient and keep strong and as the definition says, keep tough. There's lots of ways to think about resilience. You might have heard of the resilience bucket. That's one example that many people use. I like to think of it in a bit of a different way, using a weeble. I don't know how many of you remember the advert many years ago, weebles wobble, but we don't fall down. Weebles are toys which are weighted at the bottom. So as you can see, I wobble my weeble, it moves around, but it always rights itself again. Might take a while, might be very wobbly, but it comes back to the middle. And I find this a really useful illustration of resilience. I certainly know in my life, and I'm sure some of you do, I even use the words wobbly. You know, if I've been going through a difficult time and somebody says, how are you feeling? You might say, oh, I feel a bit wobbly. And resilience is that ability to manage that wobbliness, but come back to the middle. So what I want to challenge you to do as a result of watching this video is to go away and write down some of the ways that you make sure that you keep yourself resilient. It could be things like, do you make sure you try to eat a healthy diet? Because if we're honest, when we're under pressure, for many of us, eating and drinking is where it shows. Are we eating a healthy diet? I know for me, getting out in the fresh air, getting a short walk every day is incredibly important. Are we making sure we spend time with good friends that will support us and encourage us to be resilient? You'll have your own list, there are a few starters, but I hope that's helped you to have a think about what resilience is and how you might develop resilience. Thank you.